Hello and welcome back to my channel CAD with Jordan. Today we're going to be going over different ways we can create features on a curved surface. Now the reason that I'm covering this topic is because it's a very common problem among beginners in which they can't create a sketch on a curved surface. And if you can't create a sketch, then you can't start creating different extrusions or cutting into it. Now most of the time with a curved surface similar to this one, you want to cut into it, but you don't really have any option with the sketch tool until you start messing around with your planes. So right now I'm just gonna show you a quick couple ways that we can cover how to start cutting into or building on top of the curved surface. So the first option is to open up our origin planes in the top and we're gonna make one of them visible by right clicking and pressing V or this visibility button. And from there we can use the 2D sketch tool to click on the plane. And after that, I can put in whatever I like on that sketch and extrude. And now you'll see that we've created a feature on a curved face. So that covers one of the ways that we can do it. And that's by using a origin plane through the center. Alternatively, if we turn on this origin plane and we didn't want to start from the very center with our feature. And what we're gonna use is the tangent to surface and parallel to plane tool. What we'll do, is we're going to click that central origin plane and then our curved face and you'll see that we have created a, another plane on the tangent of it and what this allows us to do is obviously to start another 2D sketch on the top of it but not only that we don't have to create our cut or our build from the very center as you would have seen before the sketch or the feature that we're extruding started in the center before whereas now I can start from the edge and then build out or I can cut through it. Anyway that covers most of the basic solutions that we can use in order to start creating features on a curved face. If you have any other beginner topics that you'd like me to cover and just teach you on because there's a lot of little pitfalls that beginners come across when using Inventor and this is one that I came across so I thought I'd just cover that one today. So let me know in the comments if you'd like me to cover anything else. Anyway, if you're looking to begin building CAD skills for your future as a engineer, designer, architect or anything, then check the link in the description. This is the course I created aimed at beginners meant to build a strong foundation for Inventor in which you can then begin your growing your skills in. The course offers a wide range of lessons teaching you about the majority of tools and basics in the world of Inventor. If you're interested, then click the link in the description and fast track your success today.